Hello everyone, this is the LEGO Ideas pop-up book based upon the fan submission from two fans who worked together and their last names are immortalized on the front of the book there, although strangely they're swapped. I think Grant Davis was the, the uh, initiator of the project. I am very happy to say right from the start that this is a print, not a sticker on this huge 8x16 uh, tile there. I was very worried when I first pulled out an 8x16 tile from the box that this came in and it did not have any decoration on it because I thought it was going to be another situation like the plaques on the Ultimate Collectors series uh, really large uh, sets that LEGO makes where you have to put this huge sticker on there. I don't like putting huge stickers on things and it's really nice that they provided the, uh, the printed versions here. It's also nice that they have the back of the book. I didn't think they were going to do the back of the outside cover quite so nicely, but it is finished up well. So we've got a fully tiled over surface on the outside, studs appearing on the top, just to, just to let you know that it's Lego. I like that. I like the fact that Lego uh, is, is not ashamed of their their studs on their their pieces but there is a lot of tiling here and this whole thing opens up and the big deal about it is that it is indeed a pop-up book and the way this works is just so simple and so smooth the way that it that it all occurs and that's that's all down to the fan designers work which is just it's just great it it just does the job and it's it's very, very simple. There's no illegal building. There's no questionable building involved here. None of the pieces are ever under any stress as far as I can feel. Everything fits together very nicely. There's a little bit of side-to-side of -side play there, which is perfectly fine. I don't have any issue with that. The thickness of the actual uh, front of the, the building here, the house, the cottage, I suppose, is uh, mostly two studs through most of it. And you can open up the door and you can open up the shutters over here and the level of detail here is very nice it's just missing figures at this point fortunately they do include some figures with the set and i'll show you those in more detail obviously this one is representing the story of little red riding hood and she's going to visit her grandma but the grandma could also be replaced with a wolf who's <laughs> dressed up in grandma's clothing very nice figures and like i said we'll, we'll look at those uh, a little bit later on to get a little bit more detail. They also have some detail of the interior here. Now this is a little bit simplified or simple, but at least there's some detail there. And the nicest thing to me is the fact that the bed is set up to actually accommodate a figure within it. So you can put grandma or the wolf in there. And I think, let's see, yeah, if the, if the, the arms are down, then it's just going to look like she's sitting up, which is a pretty proper look, actually. But if you want to put her in there farther, then just pull the arms up a bit more. And yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I like to see beds that are actually able to accommodate someone. Many times Lego does not do that. And in the past, they have not done that. They've started to do it, and I hope to see that trend continue. Got a little fireplace that is lit there it's the only thing that's missing is a little bit of smoke coming out so pretty nicely done here and this is designed to be transformed to cover a second story as well a different uh, children's story these inserts can be easily pulled out like so and these things here can also be pulled out now i'm going to replace all this with something else there this goes right here get that in place and then this is going to slot right in just get snapped into place and this comes down right there and this is based on the story of Jack and the Beanstalk and look at how much this one folds so this is actually a little bit more impressive to me from a mechanical perspective because of that string that's connected that pulls the the giant's house up into the sky 
again it's all very smooth it closes up completely this one is missing the the closure at the end the little strap that was included in the fan model submission that was really nice to hold it together but i mean on display i mean you, obviously it stands up on its own uh, doesn't really need to be held together but i think that just was a nice little thing that was there originally that is missing from this version so here here we've got a micro scale landscape rather than going with minifig scale so you're looking at the sides of hills and there are clouds around and forest and you know human built structures they even have this windmill up on the cliff over here you can spin up the veins there you can also turn that around although i believe it does need to be fairly close to this orientation in order to fit when everything is folded up no problem there you got the stairs going up here and then the beanstalk doesn't look half bad uh, the technic lift arms don't look that great but most of it's covered up with parts that make sense and then all the way up the top you've got this house this is actually dark azure for the the top there and they include in the set the giant himself and he can stand right there at the stoop just in front of the stoop and that is a minifig scale giant with a nano fig for jack taking a closer look at those two we get good prints for each that's a pretty good level of detail for the nano fig in particular but not too bad with the printing on the torso for the giant as well with the goose in his his uh jacket pocket i guess coat pocket and also a giant golden egg in a sack there and you can see all of the the small scale things that are attached to him with the huge barrels which look small and then he's got a couple of minifig skulls on there as well which are probably in a different scale but it looks pretty good it, it almost feels like a shame that they don't now put uh, printing along the sides of minifigs because so much of this feels like it needs to continue around the sides i'm fine with it but it, it would have been even better with a little bit more there no secondary face for this minifigure though so what you see there is what you get from the little red riding hood story this is at least the second version that we've gotten of the title character from lego previously in one of the collectible minifig series they did this grandma visitor which is a very similar looking figure in many ways but the new one is definitely updated in many ways as well it has a lot more detail has the skirt piece on there and the hood is different the hood is actually a recolor of the one that was used for one of the lloyd figures from the ninjago movie and i think it works really well here with the the different colors on it i think the skirt piece uh stands out a little bit too much it just has so much spread it's so wide i wish that it was a little bit closer to the legs but it has really really nice decorations on it for sure going all the way around this is a soft cape piece very nice printing on the back of the torso did not expect that at all it's much better than i could possibly ask for and the head underneath there is one that we've seen a number of times up to this point the basket is in the slightly orangish yellow the fire orangish yellow i believe they call it or yellowish orange and there are a couple of cookies in there as well just uh, uh, printed pieces the one by one round tiles two of them identical and finally here we have grandma and the wolf in grandma's clothing both figures are included with all pieces to make them complete and the poor wolf tried to put grandma's clothing on carefully but with the sharp claws just ended up causing a lot of incidental damage that was not intentional whatsoever the wolf head we got previously for uh, one of the collectible minifigure series as well but this is a new print for it complete with the the glasses <laughs> the spectacles eh, full-on glasses i guess that have been broken in the center and also a little bit of lipstick applied there and there's a little bit of print on the wolf version that you can't see with the head on there it's a very nice head piece i think that it's very appropriate for this character but let me just pull this off so you can see the rest of the detail under there they did all of it and they even did it on the front so you get the collar even though you don't see that normally i appreciate the attention to detail and how complete it is it's it's full complete work done by the graphic designer 
I have to be honest, I think the exterior of this book looks 10 times as good as the original fan submission. So I really appreciate the pride that the LEGO designers put into this in, in pushing beyond what they even had to start with by a good margin, and especially with the graphic design work here. I mean, that looks great. And I appreciate the fact that they put the fan designers' names on here, not the, not the LEGO designers' names. You know, just a nice bit of respect there. I also appreciate the fact that they kept the overall structure and mechanism very close to the original fan submission. And especially this right here is very close. I mean, there are a number of things that have been changed aesthetically, and I think that the original submission had more foliage around the the structure and also around the base as well. Uh, it's a little bit a little bit plain relative to that and all of this open space in the front is uh, well it's open space and especially on the Jack and the Beans, Beanstalk uh, version it's very plain there but all told I think that the sum of the work between the fan designers and the Lego designers has provided something to Lego fans and potentially even folks who aren't Lego fans yet who might just see this package on a store shelf and be like wow that looks great and what a cool novelty and how cool it is to see this thing open up uh, it just provides great value i think and speaking of value in particular the price to part ratio on this thing is fantastic so there's really not a lot that i can think to criticize about this most of it is good and uh, honestly the only thing that i wish was better really wish was better was the spine uh, I wish that had a at least a single printed piece, at least just something with a, a single initial or something on it, so that when the, the book is placed into a bookshelf or on a bookshelf like this, you know, then it would look cooler. As, as it is, it looks very nice just presented uh, on a desk or something, or if you have the the front cover facing out towards you, but when it's placed in like this, it just doesn't doesn't do it justice to, to what all is there really cool set though very happy that this was produced this is a perfect use of the lego ideas platform in my opinion and i'm glad that it has become available to purchase thank you very much for watching the video hope you enjoyed this and i'll talk to you again soon